Tying up this set, two games apiece. And you know what it comes down to. The old zoo mirror. Yep. It's beautiful. We've seen this one get steamrolled by the person who goes first so far in today's tournament. And honestly, it's kind of just the nature of that matchup. It's it's whoever gets the first real big favorable trades off uh, is usually the one who has the advantage of this one. And I think something that's super important to note is how powerful Possessed Villager is with Power Overwhelming in this matchup. Argent Squire does not fit the same bill because it doesn't keep that 1-1 around. But that front half of the Possessed Villager dying and leaving the 1-1 means you can Power Overwhelming run over Darkshire Councilman. You can trade up with Imp King bosses fairly easily. And then having that extra body means you have more stuff to Defender of Argus. And that's a super big deal in this matchup. Now, the other thing to note is that Just Saiyan has Doom Guards in his build. And traditionally, the player who has Doom Guards tends to do a little bit better in the Zoom Ear than the player who's running the Leroy and the Power Overwhelming versions because it's such a trade-centric matchup. So I'd be really curious to see how this one ends up lining up. Yeah, well, not a great hand for Just Saiyan. Picks up a Power Overwhelming, and that's a pretty decent start uh, for Terran Sam with uh, some good one-drops. He isn't going first, but just saying misses wow. a one drop, and that's exactly what you want to see. Possessed Villager picked up as well. Terran Sim's luck might have finally turned around with this zoo. Yeah, I like going with the Possessed Villager here as well. Not in a hurry to get Darkshire Councilman. Uh, again, just looking for those favorable trades early, and then finding a spot to, to crack it wide open afterwards. And just look at that. That is a lonely Direwolf Alpha. Yeah. Oh, wow, oh, what a draw man. for Terrence. That is huge. Filling out the curve, dealing extra damage, keeping the abusive sergeant around, and rolling straight into Darkshire Councilman. I, you know, again, I hate to call these games early, but this may be one where where Terrence has just kind of locked it up based on that first trade initiation. Now, Saiyan does have Knife Juggler and Forbidden Ritual. So that's a way for him to easily kind of get back into this one if things go right for him. But things have to go right first. If they don't go right, the game is basically over at that point. But Councilman's biting the dust, and he leaves yeah. behind three one health minions here. So just Saiyan's knives are going to have to be pretty much perfect this game. And he just doesn't have an option. Here we go. And I mean, even if they're perfect, that's Flame Imp plus Direwolf being taken out. Oh! Face? Okay, oh. well, I, I mean, face Dark Shadow Councilman or face face would have been the worst, but... Those are very close to being the worst. And we'll see what Terrence can pick up here. Dark Dark Peddler can, can be pretty devastating, depending on what he picks up. Uh, Flame Imp. Honestly, can... Goldshire Footman's looking pretty good right now. Yeah. Ready for action. I mean, that is not a bad-looking card. The fact that you can protect your 4-1, your potentially with Goldshire Footman, is a pretty big deal here. Now, that yeah. being said, two Flame Imps doesn't look bad either. Having Soul Fires and options doesn't look bad either. The whole, the big picture here is that all of his options are very good. Yep, and this is going to be just a trade-off on the board. So Direwolf Alpha is probably going to rip here. Yep, and it's going to be two Flame Imps. I mean, if this is the plan, you definitely are loading two Flame Imps. And the reason he trades off these, these the Direwolf Alpha into 1-1 here is he wants to protect against Power Overwhelming. And that's exactly what Just Saiyan has in his hand right now. His board's been crippled. And there's no recovery potential here. He has no minions that are going to live for a turn for basically the rest of the game. Hmm. Yeah. Get in there and fight, maggot. All right. Well, I mean, what do you even do here as a Terrence? You just pretty much autopilot to, to the win here. Keep trading off the board. Keep getting that damage in. I mean, there's... Not really a rush when you're in Zoo versus Zoo, just because they don't have comeback mechanics. Just clear the board every turn, force your opponent to just play their hand. And I think just saying, I mean, his posture and his facial expression just sort of says it all here. Um, yeah. He he realizes that this one is 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 all but over, uh, judging by the state of a board. And you know uh, how unfortunate to have it come down to a Zoo mirror, and go out like this after such a well fought battle, and after such a wacky day full of shaman shaman shenanigans. But, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Yeah. Voidwalker won't buy him any more time. Dark Shark Councilman won't buy him any more time. That's going to do it. Terrence, from behind in the set, one game to two, wins the series three games to two. And, and honestly, that's just that's the nature of the beast when it comes to these zoo mirror matches is mm -hmm. the first turn is critical. 
The second turn is critical. The third turn is critical. That's where the game gets decided here. And it's what makes Mulligan so important. Now, Possess Village and Argent Squire make that a lot easier uh, for the player who's taking initiative by getting a one drop here. But in that game, just saying had no one drop and got steamrolled because of it. Yeah, and that means Terrence M with that series victory is going to move on to the playoff stage on Sunday along with Chalky uh, from Group A. So uh, pretty uh, stacked lineup already moving forward. They're going to guarantee themselves at least $750, at least 10 Geico points. Uh, and, of course, now they're just uh, going to be of four players, one of which will qualify for the land finals at the end of uh, August at PAX Prime in Seattle. And if you guys want a chance, too, we still have – uh, two more features left and four more opens left remaining. Uh, if you guys want to have your shot at qualifying, uh, the next open takes place on June 16th. It's going to be, I believe, open number seven. So if you're a U.S. resident and over the age of 18, you can head over to geico.onog.gg. Right at the top of the page, uh, there's a Geico tournament button. Uh, you can click that. It'll lead you to the page where you can sign up uh, and battle it out. It's, it's a really fun experience. I played sort of at the beginning of the season before my schedule got busy, but I have really enjoyed casting it. Uh, and seeing the players that qualify, uh, it's been great. So far, we've seen a lot of really sh- uh, like known names qualify, like Shoop, Chalky, the Rad, Phone Tab, uh, players like that who have been making it through. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. And, and last year, we saw a lot of people make their name. Like Nostum sort of made his name in the One Nation Gamer circuit. So uh, you could be uh, one of those players who, who makes their name making it to these Open. So uh, make sure you go ahead uh, and, and sign up. Uh, for that. Opens are, are pretty fun. I know I like playing some Hearthstone. I know Admirable likes playing Hearthstone too. Do you like playing you Hearthstone, know, Admirable? I've been cranking out a little bit more content than you know basically I ever have Yeah. at this point. Uh, you could you could say I love Hearthstone. I've been doing it full time for about three years now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's you know, it's it's okay. Yeah. Hearthstone's yeah. okay. It's, Open it's tournaments. Great. I love Open it. Term- yeah. Open tournaments are okay as well. So make sure you guys head over there and sign up. Uh, also, I'd like to give a big shout out to the people that make this possible. Uh, big sponsor, Geico, the title sponsor for the event. Uh, make sure you guys get a Geico quote. I'm, I'm, I guarantee you, you can save money. And all it takes is for you to go and get a quote. And you can do that right on our webpage again, geico.onog.gg. So head over there. Make sure you do it. And uh, of course, Video Game Voters Network. Uh, just uh, you know, a bunch of gamers out there trying to encourage you to vote. They do a bunch of giveaways and contests on their website. Uh, so um, if you're, you're also trying to get people to vote and, or if you're, you're on the fence and, and want to help have gamers help you decide, then head over to their website, videogamevoters.com. And, of course, CyberPower PC and Razer uh, for making all this possible. But uh, we are done for the day. Uh, so that was Group A in the books. Chucky and Terrence moving on. Admirable, it's been fun. Do you have any uh, final words, any shout-outs, any thanks that you'd like to give before we Dr- close it out? DreamHack, first and second place finishers advancing out of this bracket not too much of a surprise two more days to go of hearthstone cannot mm-hmm. wait to see who advances out of the next group and who becomes champion of this one thanks to all the viewers for showing up today and speaking of that content twitter twitch youtube everything is that's admirable check it out been producing a lot of stuff lately hopefully you guys enjoy it he's great he's got a fantastic beard as well so make sure you follow him and he'll be joining me tomorrow as well for more hearthstone action uh, we return at 11 a.m. Pacific or 2 p.m. Eastern. We'll actually be leading into the feature with a live event from the floor of the Wizard World Comic Con in Philadelphia. So uh, if you want to check, take a look at that, you can check that out tomorrow. Like I said, 11 a.m. PDT, uh, 2 p.m. EDT. Um, and then, of course, we'll be following that up right with Group B uh, from the feature. Also, if you're at uh, the Wizard World Comic Con in Philadelphia, you can check it out at the Geico Gaming booth uh, right on the floor there. So make sure you guys head over there. And check that out if you are there. But, of course, that's going to do it for myself from That's Admirable and everybody here at Geico Gaming and ONOG. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.